morning everybody it's dad engineering and i got uh my um washer light windshield washer fluid light keeps coming on uh saying it's low i put a whole gallon in and it just falls right out the bottom of the truck so i figured it's some kind of hole in there i think it happened last winter uh i've just been dealing with it but now gonna fix it this is the new one i ordered online and i believe see it's kind of hard to get to really because all you see is this part all right so all you see is the top i watched a video on doing it so you could watch that video uh, and what I saw them do was some removed the tire and some did not. So I'll try it without moving the tire first. They just pop these out and pulled it out. So if I gotta remove the tire, I can do that. Uh, you definitely gotta remove the battery, pull this first. You can remove the poles. Those are eight millimeter. And then you have a 10 millimeter bolt here for this bracket that goes over the battery. Then you have this, uh, 13 millimeter bolt down there that secures the battery in place. Once you loosen that, take that out, the battery is out the way. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Pull that out. It's like there's a one here, and this is that the wheel well shield. So we'll remove that next. Really clear. I actually used the creeper to slide under there. And let me show you. But this, uh, there's one 10 millimeter right there. You can get it with a ratchet and everything. I also want to say these mud flaps, these bottom two pins, they push right into here. It's interesting, but okay. So, anyways, not mud flaps, but you know, wheel cover. Uh, then, from, from it, I went ahead and disconnected them while they are up there I didn't try and pull it down and you pull off these and you'll get a little squirt of water of you know fluid that's left in there yeah, I don't see any cracks in here but it's leaking somewhere maybe it's right there anyway let's swap it out and see if it leaks there are the two look like the same to me let's go ahead Put these over there and put that over there. Look like they just come out. Uh, this piece is interesting. It's like it's the float part that goes in here. And I guess you gotta make sure that these are pointed this way so that it, it knows if it's empty or full. And you just push it in and you're good to go. So these came out pretty easy from the other one. You just pull it up and pull it out. I got it on. I'm just going to push it back in there. I'm going to give you a view of what I'm looking at from the bottom. This red one, I remember red was on the right. So I'll just plug all those in, plug these hoses in to where they were, plug everything up and bolt it back on. Just wanted to show you this. So I'm actually on my creeper slid it under and I have not removed the tire or anything on the truck. That would make it dangerous. You know, I'm just sliding under the front of my creeper and and hooking this back up. This Suburban has two motors, uh, one for the uh, wiper in the back and one for the wiper in the front. I'm not sure which is which, but that's why you see two of them. So depending on what model you have, uh, if you don't have a wiper in the back, then you probably don't have another pump to pump it in the back. So uh, I was hearing the pump motor when I was turning it on, so I didn't think that was an issue, so I didn't change my pump motors, but if you're pushing the button and you're not hearing a pump motor, which is the case with my, one of my daughter's vehicles, then you gotta do something else. But we'll get to that. That's another story. Anyway, just wanted to fill in some holes. Yep. Got everything back in. Now I'm about to pour this in. We start it up and see what happens. Now for the moment of truth. But I don't see windshield fluid low let's try the front that motor's still working all right let's, let's do the rear 
there's the rear origin. Now, something I didn't realize, let me show you. There's a hose right here. Can't really see it, but right there. My one to the back was disconnected. So, I don't know, it may have pulled itself loose. But, that's why I wasn't getting any spray to the back. But that still didn't solve the issue where if it sat for a day, it'd be empty. So I still believe it was a hole in the back, but also I was able to fix that. So here we go. Got it in the front. Oh, that's water everywhere. And got it in the back. All right, signing out with Dad Janine.